Hey guys, it's Margaret from Days Well Spent, and in this video, we're going to show you how to collect water from an unlikely source. So here we have two 50 gallon rain barrels. They're set up like you would normally see. We've got our rain gutter, catches it, runs down into the one barrel. They're set up so that when one fills up, it starts filling up into the second one. Okay, so here we go. Um, we had talked about doing this a few years ago, never kind of mentioned it in passing and never did anything. And then a couple weeks ago, while Scott and I were um, doing some yard work, we used to have some rocks down there so that when the condensation from the AC unit would drip, it wouldn't, you know, make a big muddy, muddy mess and splash up on the house, that type of thing. Um, we decided to go ahead and see just how much water drips there. So we grabbed a five gallon bucket, put it down there. And we thought, you know, if we could get five gallons every few days, that would be cool. So, I'll show you up here what happens is the condensation that drips from your AC unit, most people have a thing like this. The pipe goes down somewhere, and it usually just kind of either splashes close to the ground, or sometimes they have a P trap set up down there. Ours got clogged a lot, so we just cut it off closer to the ground. Um, and that condensation is clean. There's nothing wrong with it. Um, I have checked online. I called um, the extension office. Everybody assured me that it is just water. There's nothing wrong with it, nothing unsafe about it. Um, a lot of people use it to water their dogs, gardens, just like we're talking about doing. So again, we thought, you know, if we could get maybe five gallons every few days, that would be cool. What we ended up collecting instead, and I just show you down here, I just emptied it emptied it out. Um, we are collecting about 12 to 15 gallons a day. So what we're going to do is go ahead, set up some stones, make a little raised area for it, um, and place a rain barrel here. That will keep us from having to empty the bucket several times a day. It's going to hold 50 gallons. Of course, when it gets to 50 gallons, we will need to make sure that we're emptying out some of it regularly. But if you're in an area that does not get a lot of rain but is hot and you run your AC unit um, throughout the year or even part of the year this is a great way to collect some extra water now it is July we're running in the upper 90s most of the time right now so we know it's going to be less later on but for now it's about the uh, 12 to 15 gallons so the first thing you're going to have to do is clear out and make a platform area for the rain barrel to to go. We're not going to give exact measurements because it's really going to depend on the size of platform you want to build and the size of your barrel. So we're clearing out the grass. We're going to level it and then put down some paving stones. Scott's clearing out the grass so that it doesn't grow up between the stones. So once you've got all the grass removed and the dirt leveled out, you can begin placing your stones. We're just going to build a platform big enough to hold the cinder blocks to form our base. That's going to keep everything nice and level. Okay, so we've got our platform laid out. And now we're going to set down the cinder blocks, our timbers, and we'll be able to place our barrel on there. And we're using some cinder blocks and old timber post, um, landscaping posts that we already had. So once you get your platform made, you're going to want to take your barrel, set it up. On the platform for our barrel we went ahead and we're repurposing an older one that we had in the back and we're going to need to cut our PVC so that it's the correct length and then we'll use a 45 degree angle Scott's prepping that right now put it on there we're still gonna have to cut the length of the, the down pipe Put it on, turn it where you want it, and you got your barrel ready to go. As you can see, it's already starting to drip a little bit. We don't have the AC on right now, um, but once we kick it on, on that drip's going to increase quite a bit. What we did was we capped off the overflow on the side of the uh, rain barrel, and we attached this uh, hose to it because we wanted to use the water instead of just having a, the excess that could uh, drain onto the ground. And this hose, we ran 
into, it goes past our AC unit. There's our dog. Goes into the backyard. And it goes into our ivies. Um, we've had problems in the past keeping our ivies alive in the heat of the summer. They start browning. But this is a, well, this is years later now since we put the barrel up. And you can see our ivies are thriving. We haven't had any issues with the heat like we did in the past. Uh, we just pick up the hose every uh, week or so. We move it to a different part of the ivies. And it's kept this whole area uh, watered. The other thing that we do is we move it around and we can put it in plants and buckets and whatever else that we want. Um, if we want extra water for another part of the garden. Hope you guys enjoyed the video on how to collect the condensation from your AC unit and divert it into a rain barrel. If you did, be sure to give us a thumbs up. And if you're not already a subscriber, hit the subscribe button. As always, be sure to visit us at dayswellspent.com.